So not too long ago, I made a video about the fuel door drain hose on a W123. Now I have a confession to make. I forgot entirely that I made that video and never actually fixed my fuel door drain hose. But maybe that's a good thing. Because I was initially thinking I would take and wrap a piece of hose and just kind of splice it back together. But the other day, we've had some torrential rains and I thought, you know what, I'm going to fix this thing the right way. I'm going to take the uh, beauty panel off the back of the fuel tank, if that's even what it's called. Um, take that off so that I can get to this hose and just replace the whole hose with a brand new piece. And when I did, I discovered something that is very concerning. So this is, as you can tell, the trunk of my W123. Now I've pulled out, there's four, three, there should be four, of these little eight millimeters that hold this panel on in front of the fuel tank. And let me show you what I found when I pulled this panel out of the way. I don't know how great that's going to show up on video, but this tank is dented in a lot. Like, a whole lot. Now, the reason for that is that the tank vent is clogged. Now, I'm going to show you where the tank vent is, how we're going to unclog it, but I've got an issue that my tank is still collapsed, so I need to reinflate my tank or replace it and this tank is in really good condition externally and there was some nasty stuff inside but if you watch my other video on doing the tank strainer on the bottom of this I, I cleaned that out I haven't had a problem since doing that tank strainer thing with fuel quality so I'm going to try to reinflate this tank with a wet dry vac so let me move you a little bit so you can see everything and uh, we'll give this a try. Essentially, over here, I've got a wet dry vac on the not suck side, uh, blow side, I guess maybe. And I'm gonna take this, put it in the fuel filler, wrap a rag around it so it seals up a bit and see if we can pop this out. This is also a great way if you're dealing with a fuel leak, whether fuel leaking in or fuel leaking out, um, putting a small amount of pressure in your tank can help you narrow down those leaks. Basically with this, you don't want to put too much pressure. I don't want to use like air compressor pressure because it will just rupture this tank. You know, only a couple PSI is all we're going to need. Just enough to pop this thing loose. So. Let's see what this does. Don't see fuel pouring out anywhere, but it also did not come back all the way. So we may end up needing more pressure. I was really thinking this would work. Of course, it may also just be leaking from somewhere. Well, that was a valiant effort by my little baby shop vac. Um, but as you can see, it hasn't done anything. So I guess maybe we are going to try an air compressor method. Anybody got a fuel tank for sale?
Oh, it's so close. of fuel leaks underneath so that's a good sign it is improved not quite all the way we've still got a pretty good dent right here it popped out that center which is a big improvement i was worried about it damaging the metal but it looks like it's okay it's just cracked the paint off you know I think that's about as far as we're going to get it. So it's a little hard to see on camera, but that is a distinct improvement. It doesn't look caved in so bad. Um, it is still a little bit, so maybe I'll have to revisit that later. Um, but for now, we're going to say that's okay. Uh, it's certainly going to gain me gallons more of fuel capacity. Now, let's go underneath the car and find out why this happened. Just in front of the left rear tire, you will find this little guy. This is our tank vent valve. We're going to take a pair of pliers, squeeze one of these pinch clamps up here, and pull this valve off. <laughs> You may not be able to see up in there very clearly, but we have a dirt dauber or mud dauber nest built in the end of this valve, which is going to prevent our tank from venting, which is a problem because when the tank vent is clogged, the tank collapses. So I'm going to, with my same air hose that I just used to inflate our tank, I'm going to put a little air through here and make sure our tank vent is clear the tank vent line is clear into the tank and as a note i have the fuel cap off for this oh yeah i can hear it okay so that is clear but this is not that's just coming out of here this end is clogged so let's take this into the shop clean it out and then we can just reinstall it the same way. But let's go see what we can do about cleaning this out and getting it freed up. So the rubber hose is clear. I can see through that. But this is not. And I don't know, I imagine this is meant to be some form of one-way check valve. Okay, look, the, this trumpet end thing kind of just slides off. So I'm not really sure what that's supposed to do. But then this has a part on it. So right there, I don't know if that'll focus. One, two, three, four, seven, zero, zero, three, nine, three. So this is some form of check valve. Um, I'm guessing it's a in check valve. So Let's get a little pick here. Actually, it doesn't matter. I can leave that red cap thing right on there. Yeah. I think I just blew out the diaphragm or whatever is in there. Something is now broken in this. Um, but. It does flow air now. Well, that's not really the ideal solution to uh, destroy the valve. What I'm going to end up doing is putting this back on in the same format and ordering or seeing if it's possible to order one of these new part numbers or find some sort of equivalent replacement. So let's go stick this back on the car and see if it solves anything. All right, we can put our freshly destroyed check valve back on. 
now that it's no longer check valve, but a coupler. And I will look into replacing that. But in the meantime, whoops, let's get our clamp back on there. Now, our tank will actually be venting. So I'm also noticing I've got a little bit of rust repair to do under here. These floor pans right at the back corners here, especially if you've got any water intrusion issues, which I did have. Uh, so we're going to have to address that sometime soon. So stick around and we'll get into all kinds of other stuff on this car as time goes on. Well, now that we've got that fixed up, I'd say I'm going to roll this into my yearly services, something that I'm just going to inspect every year just to make sure that those relentless mud daubers haven't built a nest in there. Because let me tell you, they will build a nest anywhere that they can get to, whether it's a telltale for your cooling water on your jet ski or boat, or evidently your fuel tank vent. They will build a nest anywhere they can get, especially if it'll cause you problems. So when I'm doing other yearly services, whether that be oil changes, valve adjustments, or other stuff, especially if I happen to already be under the car, I'm going to make it a habit to just inspect and make sure there's no dirt in the end of my tank vent. Now, with that being said, if you have had a tank vent clog and it collapsed your tank, you've seen a couple options on how you could get that dent out. Now, in the end, I ended up doing a third one, which I didn't film because I didn't want anybody to follow my lead on that. What I did was put the fuel cap on, then put air in through the tank vent with my blowgun. Now that is extremely dangerous because you are pressurizing it with nowhere for it to vent because I've taken the, uh, put the fuel cap back on. So it could very easily explode. If you're going to do that, you need a helper. And when I say helper, I mean not another person, some sort of unmanned way. What I did was I took my GoPro, set it in the trunk, tethered it to my phone so that I could watch with no one behind the car and just me under the car so that if something happened and that tank ruptured, nobody could get hurt. Now, I'm not recommending you do that that way, but that did pop all of the dent out in my tank just perfect. Now, I very slowly fed the air in. I didn't just give her all the way. So if you have a dented tank, that is an option. Just Please be careful if you're going to do something like that. I don't want to hear stories of tanks exploding on folks. So, with all that said, hopefully this video has helped you out. And make sure that you check your tank vent before you end up with a collapsed fuel tank. Thanks for watching.